Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have live tournament action coming at you right now. This is Alt Starcraft's Open Arena Tournament, and we have made it to the finals. Your finalists are APX ManQ taking on NMX, which does stand for Nightmares, Noxon. What nice players here. It is going to be a TVZ final. We haven't seen one of those in a good little while. Seems like over a week before we've, since we've seen a, a TVZ final. But I'm actually pretty pumped for this. Noxon is showing a lot of strength here. It is going to be a best of five. Mank you, ridiculously good player. He did did uh, make it into the finals of the AGL, so a paid player. He did place third, and he just took out our first place winner, or no, our second place winner in that uh, in that particular tournament, who is Seo Hyun. He took him out in the semifinals before this. So Mank you, gearing up to be in great shape. He's, I tried to figure out what his name was in Korean, um, like on the on the Korean server, but it is actually written in Korean. And he says that it's something like Storm Spirit or, um, yeah, like Spirit of the Storm or Storm Spirit. So I think we'll we'll probably call him Q. You guys know who I'm talking about. But I just wanted to throw that out there early in the game so that everybody knows that Q is indeed a professional StarCraft II player in Korea. It is phenomenal stuff. You guys can go look him up. Uh, but uh, and NMX Noxon, I don't know tons about. He's relatively new to me. This is the first night I've ever got to see him play. But he does come from a very highly respected team, Clan Nightmare, Team Nightmare, and it is, he's got some great friends there out on the live stream. Hendrilisk being one of his teammates, uh, several others, but a lot of people out supporting him, and I think that that's really neat to see. Uh, you know, one of these that these this guy here has got a, a pretty decent. Uh, support system behind him. I think that's really cool. Now we do have him going for hatch first here and he is currently spawning as our pink zerg up at the 2 o'clock position and down here at the 11 o'clock or sorry 8 o'clock position. It is Mank you spawning as our red Terran. So good positioning. Dust Force cross position spawns on this map is always a good thing to keep in mind. This is GSL's Antigua by the way. If you did not know. But uh, Noxon does make his way into his opponent's base. He's going to go ahead and take an extractor here, steal that gas, just in case his opponent was going for any kind of Banshee Rush. That is going to be held off for just a little while longer. Cancelled and rebuilt. Looks like Noxon going to get as pesky as possible. Nice play. <laughs> yeah, Storm Spirit. That's what he said he wanted to go by, so Pylan out there is like, what What are you talking about, Storm Spirit? <laughs> That's what he said. He said Spirit of the st or spirit of Storm or Storm Spirit. But uh, yeah, Man Q, great player. But here he is, cleaning up that drone, finally gets rid of that uh, little geyser trick there, and he is going to be in decent position to defend for just the next little while. Back here at Noxon's base, we do have his hatchery complete. He is gearing up for some serious saturation thereof. Units tab going to show that he is headed in the right direction. 18, 19 drones to 19 SCVs. Mank does pick up a harvesting lead, however, with that mule. And Mank taking a base of his own. He's putting it down right where he wants it. Not going to be bothered with flying it out. I like this play from him quite a bit. He's very methodical, we've seen. Uh, he tends to not rush into m many things. He does go for some two racks pressure on occasion, and uh, sometimes will do some serious Hellion play as well. Kind of similar to what we've seen from Zabro in a lot of respects, but um, he's a little bit even more methodical, I would say, than Zabro is. Zabro is kind of a wild card sometimes when it comes down to it, and Man Q tends to be very safe play non-stop, but very good play as well. He gets good scout out on his opponent, makes good decisions based on what he sees his opponent doing, and is always concerned with getting the best possible counter to what his opponent's doing given his current situation. So good stuff there, but he is going to be cruising out with a good bunch of Hellions, keeping map control for the time being. Not going to cruise up there quite yet, but should be in position once he has these four together. They're cruising, they got these two lagging behind there just a little bit. They will be up there in just a moment. Should be cruising in here, I'd assume, is going to try and pick up a couple of drone kills. This is not a bad little deal. We do see a Roach one going down here for Noxon. I like this play from him. Should have these Roaches out in great time, but here comes Mankey's Hellion push. And he is going to go right up to the high ground, it appears. Yes, indeed, up to the main. And going to start roasting some drones. Let's see how many he's going to get killed here. Looks like a couple so far. Two more going down there. And, wow, another. Not bad at all. Good splitting here from Noxon, keeping these guys there relatively safe. 
Oh, picking up a couple more drone kills. Wow, he's being super effective, I'd say, at this point. Even maybe two more. Wow, beautifully done from Mankyu. Taking out quite a few of those drones. That is 11 workers killed. And that is going to make Noxon feel a little bit less than happy at this moment. But he is not in bad bad position. You do see his units tab. He's still ahead in Harvester to Harvester. Uh, obviously, the mules do make up a good bit of the difference there as well as put Mankyu ahead, I'd say, at this point economically, but not by tons. So Noxon in not terrible shape. I mean, it's not game ending, but that's great, great harassment here from Mankyu. Nicely done. In the meantime, Mankyu is securing a third orbital command or command center, I guess, at this point. Probably going to see it turn into an orbital command before he flies it out. And he does have now Stim about to be complete. He's going to go ahead and grab his starport as well as a couple more barracks. Gear himself up for some serious unit production capability. Very, very smart move. And here comes a couple lings. Nice map control there from Mankyu. He does have a couple extra Hellions out on the field. And keep these lings out of his base for the time being. I love how the Hellions just turn the map control so readily into the favor of our Terran players. Yeah, Mass Hellions for the win, says JJ out on the live stream. I just want to mention that real quick. Mass Hellions for the win. Never mind that there's a spine crawler. <laughs> oh, it's so difficult to deal with. But it looks like Hendralisk is calling the GG here already, and I'm interested to see if he's correct. But Noxon is cruising forward with a lot of roaches. And that, wow, that's a heck of a lot of roaches. Mankyu backing out. And he is going to have to... He's going to have to have a pretty decent amount of defenses. Notice he's putting down a lot of bunkers here. Going to get his Hellions up here to the high ground. Going to see him toss this wall up there fairly quickly. Here come your Roaches. Looks like these bunkers are going to complete just barely in time. And here comes your attack. Wow. Noxon doesn't like what he sees and backs out immediately. He's going to wait for his Banelings to come in. And that's a lot of Banelings. Going to bust through this wall. I love the positioning of these bunkers, however. This is really going to save Mankyu a lot of trouble during this bust. Look at that. The Banelings do take out quite a few. One of the bunkers does go down. We still have two bunkers, however, out on the field. And these guys now moving into position. Still a couple Banelings on the field. They do take out one more bunker. This last bunker at the ready. A lot of repairs going down here. Is Mankey going to be able to hold on? He is going to be staving this off. And look at this. Noxon backing out very quickly with a lot of roaches. Very interesting play. And this, while wow, the supply counts are dead even there, nicely done defense and nicely done attack. Very rare that you can say... That was very, very even, and indeed it was. I think Nox had backed out at just the perfect moment before taking serious Roach losses and is now going to be going for another Baneling. Small bust here is going to try and keep this wall busted down, I assume. It's a very smart little play here. But, uh, wow, I'm going to tell you, Mankyu holding on in a very big way there is nice, de nice deal for him. Mankyu is taking a slight supply lead as we move forward here for just a moment, and he does now have a tank out on the field. Siege tech is going to be complete here in just a few moments. And he's going to be in a pretty nice position. I would like to see him position one of those tanks up here on this high ground. It tends to be a nice spot for it. And keep his tanks split up uh, so those roaches have trouble focusing them down. Because that's really what the trouble is going to be. Or the lings for that matter. But he's in great shape here on his two base play. He does have a third orbital command still at the ready. Could fly this sucker out at just about any moment. I would assume he's taking it to this position here. But we shall see. In the meantime, Noxon taking his third. I like this from him. He's getting it out there fairly early. Definitely before the 13 minute mark. So he's going to be in just fine shape. But transitions for him, we don't see anything quite yet. He's going to grab Burrow here. Uh, and he's grabbing a centrifugal hook. So going to be sticking with his Banelings for just a little while. Oh, just if you don't know, centrifugal hooks is Baneling speed. Baneling speed. It does make your Banelings move faster. And that is super handy to say the least. And we do have a Ling cruising out across the field here for Noxon. Looks like he is going to try and grab a little bit of intel. Didn't quite see those Hellions, I don't think. But he will see a, any large movement here from Mankyu. And that is exactly what he's about to see. Here they come. Oh my goodness, look at this. He moved up to the high ground first. And so he may not catch wind of this. Oh, no, he's going to stop here, though. I see what he's doing. I thought he was going for a push, but indeed he is not. He's just moving down to the low ground here to a more defensive position. Here comes his expansion. And a Marine up here going to be almost blasted away by the tank. But he does take out the, the Zergling. And we have a... Oh, some Hellions ran by here. Oh, those Hellions. We lost right, lost position on those. My bad. Here comes some Banelings. Looks like Noxon will be cruising out to the center of the map. Still just the Roaches. Oh, there we go. There's new tech. We do have a Spire going down. Spire. 
Interesting play. We'll see if he's going to go into Mutas or if he's going to set this up, set himself up for late game. Uh, to be honest, it's kind of a coin flip these days as to what a Zerg player is going to do. It used to be that you could say, oh, he's grabbing a Spire versus Terran. Oh, he's going to be going Mutas. But that's not necessarily the case any longer. A lot of people are utilizing Broodlords very effectively. Now, I don't necessarily agree with Broodlords on this particular map, so I'm, I would probably have to guess Mutas at this point. Uh, just because the center of the map is so wide open, Broodlords have a lot of trouble sometimes in this particular map, given the terrain so but looks like Noxon moving forward here is going to try for a little bit of attack I love his burrowed banelings here in the center of the map baneling bombs so wonderful so happy 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 and here comes drops from Mankyu he's going to be dropping two bases at once this base pretty good position taking a little bit of damage we'll see what he's going to do but nice reaction there from Noxon looks like Mankyu probably should be able to pick these guys up yep he does in the meantime he's dropping over here as well and here comes the reinforcements from Noxon and picked up there yet again. Mankyu going to go ahead and evac these guys down to the third, or the natural rather. He's going to drop once more. And, oops, he lets them all die there. So a little bit of miscontrol. Oh, and he picked up one. He saved one Marine. I take it back. But a fourth base going down now for Noxon. It is going to be out here in the center of the map. On the Blizzard version, or even the MLG version, I believe, it is a gold expand, but not on GSL. Always remember that when you're playing GSL maps, if you are if you don't check, you know, if, you're, if you think you're going to take a gold expansion, you'd be incorrect. So you've got to be aware that um, on GSL maps, there is no gold expansions. They do consider them OP for Terran. Now we do see scouting. Nice response there from Noxon. He goes ahead and cancels that immediately. And here comes, wow, seven tanks and a good old bunch of Marines. He's got a lot of, of uh, medevacs in the mix here as well. Going to see him start positioning his tanks in this position here and then putting them up on the high ground as well. This is an interesting thing that we've seen Mankyu do several times. But here comes all the forces for Noxon trying to take this sucker down right now. Wants to clean up this army. Does take out all the tanks. Nicely done. But the Marines kiting there and splitting very, very well. Oh, the failing bombs. Look at how many Marines he killed there. Unbelievable. Noxon with the Banelings doing a heck of a lot of damage. That is really going to cost Mankyu a lot of forces here. Mankyu going to have to back out. This evens the game up there very, very quickly. Units lost, however, is going to be favoring Mankyu, but not by very much here. So moving forward, it's going to be a burden on Mankyu, I think, uh, to make this happen. He's behind now in his uh, number of tanks. But moving forward yet again, he wants to stay aggressive here, it appears. I kind of disagree with that. There's a lot of roaches out on the field, as well as the quick possibility of banelings. They don't morph too terribly slow. But here comes the push. Got his tank sieged up in pretty decent position, but all those Marines going down there fairly quickly. And your tank's going to disappear here as well. Cleaning it up there. Knocks it in pretty nice shape, but wow, even a couple more Marines joining this force. Here comes another tank. Interesting. He's just streaming these guys into position, but losing them one at a time there is not a good deal, so got to be careful. Looks like these uh, medevacs are going to evac here to the center of the map where he's gearing up with another force. And Noxon not going to push through there. I actually kind of think that he should have pushed through, taking out these reinforcements here. There's not really tons of them. Fourth base now going to go down here for Mankyu. And that's going to be a pretty nice little deal. What can I say? Four base now for Mankyu is a phenomenal position. Noxon going to have to take probably this position here and even this position here right away to stay on par here economically because his main getting extremely low. Do have a drop going down over here. Looks like he will pick off a couple units here and there. Not tons, but any units are good units to kill at this point. Here comes your reinforcements. That's going to put these guys out of position there for just a moment. And Mankyu going to go ahead and sack these guys all except for one Marine there, strangely enough. And here comes your push from his main force. He's getting these guys into position. Splitting them up there fairly well. Tanks there split up pretty good as well. But the Marines, that was the key. The Banelings can't kill off very many Marines when they're split up so well. And uh, he's, got, he's having a little bit of trouble cleaning up this army because of those positions. Mankyu, though, does move in one more. One last tank should get this guy sieged up here momentarily, but should be able to take down this hatchery. Notice we do have a lot of burrowed drones back here. Going to try and keep those guys safe for the time being until Nox. Noxon can get himself in position to hold this force off. But he's going to have to do it fairly quickly because Mankyu is in wonderful shape. Really able to push through here. 
taken out a lot of units and is now moving up into the natural. We do see some good bailing bombs at the ready here. And a couple going off there. Taking down all of your Marines. A good scan going down. It's going to force these Banelings back. A couple of them do die without doing any damage there, but that's all right. Banelings coming back in. They do take out a good bunch of Marines, but so many tanks on the field does force the GG from Noxon. Nicely done. Beautiful game when it comes down to it. One of the best I've seen in a good long while. And that's going to take us into game number two between these two gentlemen. Excited to see where this is going to go. Don't know tab. Always on StarCraft. We'll see you guys at game number two. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have live tournament action continuing here on GSL's dual site. Mank and Noxon battling it out. This has been a phenomenal matchup so far. I love the back and forth between these guys. Really good stuff. Mank however, did get the better of his opponent there in game number one. And that is going to mean just 1-0. It is a best of five. So Noxon with plenty of wiggle room here, I think. He doesn't really need to get... You know, too, ter too crazy here at this point, but he does need to take down this game. It is crucial. He's got to play very, very smart here, I think. Otherwise, it's going to turn into a match point, and that makes the remainder of the uh, tournament difficult to to deal with. So finals here for the open arena. Super pumped for this. And uh, we're going to be seeing these guys spawning in a two-player map. It is dual site. And Noxon is our pink Zerg, kicking it over here on the right-hand side of this map. And on the left-hand side, it is Mankyu, spawning as our red Terran. Storm Spirit, that's what we'll call him. Good old Storm Spirit. Just like, um, just like the Dota character. Do any of you guys play Dota? Let me know if you played Dota. Uh, if you did, there was a, a character in Dota called the Storm Spirit. He was a panda with electricity. He was like a cross between Raiden and and a panda bear. <laughs> anyway, so maybe Mankyu is uh, from that particular... Oh, you know what? He might be, actually. He very well could be a uh, ex-Dota player. We'll check into that. I'll try and find some more information on this guy eventually, but definitely a good player. I just have trouble communicating with him. He doesn't speak very good English, um, and I don't speak any Korean, so it makes communication almost impossible. So that's one of those things, but... Gas going down here for Man Q. We do have his barracks about to complete. Probably going to see a uh, quick opener here. A little tech opener, potentially. We do have Nexus first here. I'm not Nexus, but Hatchery first here for Noxon. Does have his spawning pool going down right behind it. Good old 15 hatch, followed by the pool. Looking to be in good shape. Barracks now working on Marine number one. We'll see if he's going to pick this up and put down his tech lab now or if he's going to wait for a reactor and then go for hellions here could be either or looks like he's working on another marine and is he going to choose a tech pattern yes he is it is going to be a factory so hellion opener here nicely done looks like he got his gas maybe a little bit early for it but that's okay maybe he has got a new timing window for that could very well be the case Back over here at Noxon's base, we do have that spawning pool complete. Just the one gas now out on the field, and he is going to start gearing up for some serious saturation of these bases. Notice that uh, Mankyu didn't go for any type of aggression here. So kind of an interesting little deal, uh, but tends to do that. Usually he usually likes to get over there, get a good scout out on the timings. So far he's not doing anything of the sort. He is going to toss down, however, a command center. While we've got an extractor trick going down on the low ground here for Noxon. Kind of an interesting deal. Not going to be able to save that guy. He is completely surrounded. Completely surrounded. But back and forth there for just a little while. It's going to keep those Marines busy, busy, busy. Busy little bees. Command center, though, will be complete here in oh, momentarily. It's halfway done. Back over here at Noxon's base, we do have now spawn crawlers going down, two of them. Did get a scout out on that factory, so he knows to prepare for Hellions. And they're about to be cruising out across the field in just a moment. He's got two right now and two more behind. This will be the first scouting here from Mankyu, actually. Spawn crawlers, though, at the ready. I love the positioning here. This should be able to help stave those guys off. But, man, I'll tell you, Hellions are so difficult to deal with in the hands of somebody like our Storm Spirit here. 
just knows exactly what to do with them. Is going to back out there fairly quickly. He could have made it right up to the high ground, but uh, he wanted to back out. Looks like he's probably going to wait for his reinforcements and dip back in there. But good scouting. Knocks him cruising forward with some lings. Going to lose maybe a couple of them, but now that he has speed, Mankiw going to have to consider backing out with these Hellions. He doesn't quite have enough out on the field to be super effective versus the speedlings. So he is backing out indeed. Going to try and maintain maybe a little bit of map control with them here and there, but we'll see how that's going to go. Back here at the main, we do have a pretty decent force, and here comes your speedlings. Noxon going to go for a small push here. Doesn't like what he sees and backs out immediately. He sees plenty of Hellions there for defense. And we do have Mankyu now with his saturation starting to pick up here at his natural. No SCV transfer there, strangely enough, but more barracks going down. And actually two more barracks going down as well as a starport. Notice the reactor, so we're going to see a reactor and starport as we move forward. Going to see Mankyu transition into some drops and MMM play. Marines, actually maybe not so much Marauders, as mostly Marines, but he did grab out one or two Marauders already. Yep, there's two of them right there. So Marine Marauder Medivac, I guess. Why not? Why the heck not? But we do have your Hellions now cruising back out across the field. They are all healed up. Nice and spiffy in their little cars. These guys did not get a bath, however, if you look at their little portrait. Still have a lot of smoke on their face, but uh, their cars are shiny and bright. Pretty little cars. I'd buy, you know what? I honestly would buy a Hellion if they made those. I'd buy one. I'd love to have a flamethrower on my car. I would roast the heck out of people on like motorcycles and stuff that got my way. But these guys now moving back. Not going to go in for the kill. Not that he could kill him, I guess, at this point with just four Hellions, but not going to go for it. Does see too many spine crawlers here. Knocks in in pretty decent shape here defensively. Notice he's grabbing a Spire. That's part of the reason you see him a little bit low on the supply count. Mankyu in pretty decent shape supply-wise. Still being active with his Hellions, trying to keep a good tab on what's going on around the map. But is he ready for Mutalisk play? I don't know, and Mutas probably are going to be the, the item of unit of choice here for Noxon. And that's going to be a nice little deal. Got the factory now working on some tanks, and we're going to see some more Metamax out on the field. Look at this. Here comes a push from Mankyu. Just a couple more Metavax and Marines and Marauders in this little force, and some Hellions. But no tanks. No tanks quite yet. Mankyu gearing up to try and take down this win. We do see some creep tumors going to disappear there fairly quickly. That's going to stall creep spread there for just a moment. And elevatoring up to the high ground. Up to the main. Is he going to take the Hellions with? I don't know. It doesn't look like he is. Good kiting, however. Is he going to have enough to deal with these mutas? He's catching them kind of off guard there, I think. Nicely done. Is holding on there in a pretty big way. But Mankey knows the risks as he moves forward here. So he's going to go ahead and drop these guys. You do have your Marines barely coming out in time to defend against these Mutas. And probably going to see Mankey go ahead and back out here. See the Storm Spirit back out. Maybe not. He's going to go for the third. An attack on the third here is not a bad idea. If he could go focus down this third, that would put Noxon back on two base here for just a moment. That would be a nice little play. Let's see what he's going to do. It looks like that's not his choice at this point, but he's trying to maintain that map control. Wants to blind these towers, but I'll tell you, man, Noxon very quickly, as soon as he sees his opponent evacuate a tower, he goes and grabs the other one again. Boom, 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 back and forth. Who can hold the towers the most? It's like uh, King of the Hill or something like that. <laughs> here comes your attack again. Looks like we've got a couple more reinforcements now. Double tanks here is going to be super good, especially since he's about to have his siege tech complete. Got to be careful here, though. He doesn't want to lose too many units up front before he can get those tanks sieged up and in good position. Flank coming around here for Noxon. And your Marines, are they on A move? Yes, they are. Turning around there fairly quickly, picking off a couple of those Mutas. And your Mutas... Uh, they're faring pretty well. They've not been able to do any harassment. They're stuck kind of defending at this point because of Mankey's forward position. Looks like a lot of mutas going down there to those Marines. Brutal stuff. And I half expect to see Mankey go for an attack here. But here comes a flank attack, or a counter attack, if you will, from Noxon. Does make his way right into his opponent's natural there. Should have, could have put up those supply depots, but wasn't able to get them up in time. Here comes some Banelings. 
And Banley's going up to the high ground. And some Ling's now in the field. It looks like this attack over here for Mankyu. Going forward as well, he's starting to blast away at this macro hatch, but that's not what he wants to do. He's got to do economic damage at this point. And Mankyu has lost his economy at his natural. His economy up here at his main is actually not that strong either, considering he did lose a lot of units. How many workers killed? 24 workers killed. And so he's depending on this push, doing the right amount of damage. Now, he is scary. He's got a lot of tanks here. Good bunch of Marines, but here comes a lot of Banelings and Lings. And your mute is everything that Noxon has got at this point. Committing to holding this off. He knows that he's going to be way ahead here if he does hold this off. And there's still a bunch of Marines out on the field as well as these two tanks. Not holding it off quite yet. This is a brutal, brutal position actually. Mankyu in nice shape if he can hold on to this Ford army. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage to Noxon. Noxon going to start gearing up to try once more to hold this off. Got a couple mutas out on the field, gonna morph some banelings in. Should see him try for this push once more, but I'll tell you the reinforcements are headed this way for Mankyu. The Storm Spirit is really, really happy about that. This army is in great position. I love the position of these tanks. Here comes your mutas and your links and your banelings from three different directions essentially. And they are gonna clean out the tanks here on this side, but look at this, we've got another detachment up here on this side. And there's your GG from Noxon. Oh my goodness, two games in a row here for Man-Q. Brutal stuff. That is going to take us into game number three. Noxon now has to go three games in a row to take down this win. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in just a few moments.